The containers left the development site with no issues other than weather slowing us down. When we tried to drive them up the hill however we had a problem. The truck couldn't get up the hill and this is where it loses traction. It's all come to a grinding halt. The experts have told me that the only way to get 24 tonnes of side loader and prime mover up the mountain is to tow it with a bulldozer or something similar. So we've rescheduled and here I am on the day of the load. We're only going to get one go at this and this is where we've got to go. So this is the tow truck that's going to have a go. I put a big chain on and I'm just hoping for the best. This is actually an old army tank recovery vehicle and there's 10 tons of soil in the back in order to help it get traction. It's a six wheeler and all six wheels can pull so there's a good chance that we're going to make it. This is a very stressful operation for me because I don't have a plan after this one. When we crested the hill I was utterly delighted and shortly after we got over the top we separated the tow truck and the truck was able to go on by itself. I rode on the outside of the tow truck and I was utterly delighted. We made it onto the site and it's just a case of reversing into position and dropping the container off.
They were placed to within a millimetre and I was really pleased with the accuracy of my measurements and the foundations that we laid out. Now we just have to tidy up and then go and get two more. I never thought they'd get up here, I tell you. Last week we were, we were wondering what on earth we were going to do. The heaviest container is now on its foundations and I'm delighted. I think it's all going to go well now. Here we are bringing in the second container and it's just a matter of plonking it on the foundations. We got a third container. This is to store the furniture from our suburban lifestyle in and for me to use as a workshop. This one went up the hill much easier, in fact they were able to keep the chain slack as they got the hang of which gear to get up the mountain. I tried following in the ute and I had to floor it to catch up with him as he was taking a run up at the next hill. All three are now in place and we're all set to move in. We're really happy.